Yes, your girl is back with another amazing recipe you are going to love. In today's video, I'm going to be cooking bitter leaf soup. If you're interested, keep watching. I'm starting with a neatly washed meat. I'll add it in the pot, go in with my ingredients, and then mix it up, allow it to steam for about five to seven minutes. Bitter leaf is a popular soup in the eastern part of Nigeria and it is very healthy. Next, I'm going to be peeling off the cocoa yam that I'm going to be using for this recipe. Whenever we are cooking bitter leaf soup, we always add cocoa yam on it just to make it a little bit thicker. Bitter leaf soup, also known as ofe onumu, is popular traditional soup enjoyed by different tribes in Nigeria. It can be eaten with various fufu dishes and is also healthy and satisfying. Once the meat is steamed, I'm going to be adding the cocoa yam on it and then cover it to cook it until it becomes soft. Next, I'm going to be washing the bitter leaf. It is called bitter leaf because the leaf is bitter and its health benefit is amazing. In Nigeria, most ethnic groups love eating bitter leaf because of the bitterness in it. Why some people love to squeeze it and drink it whenever they are feeling sick. So I'm just going to add salt on it as you have seen and then I'll wash it, reduce the bitter on it before I use it to cook. Like in the eastern part of Nigeria, this is a well-recommended dish. If you want to make your husband happy or your husband family happy, prepare bitter leaf soup for them. <laughs> and if you attend like burial ceremony or traditional marriage ceremony in the eastern part of Nigeria, bitter leaf soup is the kind of soup they prepare specially for the king's men and the elders that are coming for the burial or for the traditional marriage. It is prepared specially for them because if you serve them any kind of soup, they are not going to eat it. At this point, I'm done washing the bitter leaf. Next, I'm going to check the cocoa yam if it's soft and ready for me to use my blender to blend it. I'll use my fork to check it. As you can see, it is very soft. I'm just going to remove it from the meat and then put it in the blender, blend it very smoothly. While my meat, I'm going to put it in the air fryer to dry it as I love eating dry meat. Bitter leaf can also be used in a goosey soup or ogbono soup. It's still going to come out nice. Next, I'll be adding dry fish and kanda, and then I'll add the quantity of water that is needed for this recipe. Next, I'm adding banga paste. This is optional. You can also use red oil if you want, but I'm adding banga paste because it's going to give me the taste I really needed on this recipe. Next, I'm going to be blending my cocoa yam. You can use mortar to pound it. In the Western world, we don't have mortar. After which, I'm going to be adding it in the pot. In some parts of Nigeria, they don't use cocoa yam to cook bitter leaf soup. But in the eastern part of Nigeria where I come from, it's a must that you must use cocoa yam to cook your bitter leaf soup or else no one will eat it. Next, I added pepper. I added my crayfish. After which, I gave it a little bit of stir and then cover it to boil. Nigeria is indeed blessed with amazing and fantastic dishes that are healthy in the body. I allowed it to boil for about five minutes and then I'm going to be adding ogiri, which is very important in this recipe. If you are cooking bitter leaf soup in the eastern part of Nigeria and then you don't add ogiri, nobody will eat it. It is very, very necessary that you add ogiri when you are cooking bitter leaf soup. Next, I'm going to be adding the bitter leaf on it. Honestly, in Nigeria, we can't be bothered about other cultural recipe because we have a lot of amazing recipes to try in Nigeria and they are very healthy in the body. Like I said, once I'm done, I'm going to give it a mix and then cover it to steam for another three minutes. Bitter leaf soup is one of my favorite ingredients. I can't go a month without eating bitter leaf soup. I so much love it. After I stir it, I'm going to cover it to steam for about 3 to 4 minutes and then I'm going to be adding meat, which is the last item that is going into this pot. And then that is it. If you're still watching this video till this point, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this soup in the comment section. And if you're new to my platform, please subscribe. Let's become one big family, okay? Guys, look at this soup. It looks so delicious even without you testing it. It really came out nice. 
I'm just going to test for salt, which it tastes so delicious. And then that is it. Your bitter leaf soup is ready. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section. If you're new to my platform, you love my videos, you want to see more coming from me, hit that subscribe button, okay? Don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't get to miss out each time I bring amazing recipes like this. See you all on my next video. Bye! I'm a